Okay guys, PD Tech here with a little analysis of the Copter Pack video. So this is my community tab on my channel and occasionally I'll post these sort of flying machines. There's a flying car there. Um, it's like a hoverboard type thing. He was dubbed the Green Goblin who's flying over in New York City Centre. Really good. All, all dead legit. All things you can make and build. It's a little flying model. Um, this is like a concept taxi type thing uh, and it usually states if it's a concept or a computer generated thing and you can usually tell in the video as well this is a guy who builds fantastic cars out of old fridges this is like a test bed of a personal flying machine again there's dozens and dozens of these on the web it's a proven con you know it's a proven uh, technology Jeremy Clarkson flying his drone shepherding his sheep that's quite a good video uh, this is the copter pack video, so let's click on this and have a quick look. So my first thoughts when on the intro is how slick and professional the video is. It's like a, a promo sort of marketing video. Very, very good video. And we see the props of Vector in there. Cinematic shot. Um, now let's have a look at this. So he's got all the gear on. He's got the motorbike gear on. He's got the gloves, he's got the hat. I think he's got some kind of boots on. We see the props there, definitely some props. There's some big motors. We've got the ducting around the props, prop guard type things. We've got this bar joining them, going across his shoulders, his back, that sort of swivels. We've got hand control arrangement. There's something on his back, put all it all together. And then there's something sticking out behind his waist there, maybe battery pack. But on on first, my first thoughts, uh, there's not much in the way of battery on him. That's my first thought. So look at the shot there. We can see the shadow of it. We see the guy, cameraman to the right. We see from his perspective shortly as well. But notice when he takes off, there's no dust. That's that's my what I'm really bothered about. And look at his legs, how they sort of swing back and his head goes forward a bit almost like he's suspended so no dust is going up we can't see any wire can't see any helicopter no crane nothing like that look how the vectoring the things now they are vectoring and they seem to be going in the right directions but occasionally it does look a bit chintzy like um like it's sort of added in for effect i've also watched a, a video analysis guy that's gone over the video and his first thoughts was that it was a legit video and then when he went through it on his photoshop and he was looking at the actual image he changed the contrast changed the colors and everything to see he was looking for any changes basically around the pilot and he noticed on every frame there's a vertical line above the pilot that's been altered and he's seen some smearing and blending and things well it's not quite right um uh, in, it's worse in some parts of the video and better in other parts. So his opinion that they've is basically suspended by a cable, um, and you can see it sort of swings out there. It's coming down here. Look, notice again. That looks a bit chintzy the way the vectoring look. Just something. Yeah, it sort of swings out there. Look, like he's definitely suspended. A bit chintzy. Vector in there from the props. Again, we see his shadow there. No dust again on the ground. And he's landed no dust at all. So my first my thoughts are it's either a concept and they're not quite there with it. And he's tethered, basically. He's dangling. I don't think he's from a helicopter. I think it's from a crane, probably. But if you think about it, when they, used, when they first developed these vertical takeoff and landing systems... They tethered those test beds, and same with helicopters when they first brought them out. They were tethered. The first flights were always tethered. So maybe it's a con it's a prototype, and not quite got the stability right, and he's tethered. You know, while he learns to fly the things, or it's I think it could be a college student type project, move you know a film or movie project. Or it could be even a marketing project where they've got to come up with an idea and market it. Or it's just a complete fake prank scam thing and they're just doing it purely for views and subscribers. So that's my analysis, guys. 
let me know in the comments below whether you think it's legit, whether you think it's a scam or fake or a prototype or what. Drop your comments in the bottom and let me know. Okay, guys, take care. Bye-bye for now.